hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create this kind of list view where you can slide for more option from left as well as right when i will tap on this say hi you can perform separate action and you can add multiple options whenever you will slide any particular list element so without any delay let's get started so for this first of all you will have to install a package which is flutter slidable i will put the package url and github url of this project in the description box you can check that now let's move forward so first of all this is my stateful widget and this is my home screen and i'm calling this home screen from my main function and then inside build function this is scaffold app bar this is title and this is the color now i'm moving to body part so first of all we will have to create a list for this particular item initially it is empty i will fill data later so i will take list view builder item count will be person dot length item builder it will take context and the index and in return i am using slidable widget this slidable village widget is coming from the package that we have installed earlier slidable and it will take start action pane this start action pane will be visible when we will scroll from the left and when we will scroll from the right then we will have to use end action pane so for now i am making functionalities with start action pane for these two buttons or these two options you can say so action pane i'm using motion scroll motion so for motion you can check like there are the several motions scroll motions this is the draw motions behind motions you can do your experiment with this and you can play with it for now i'm using scroll motion and it generally takes children so inside that i'll use slidable action and inside slidable action there is on press functionality and it will again takes context and i'm using show custom snack bar whenever i will tap on the particular option i will pass the context because i have created their functionality and it is asking for context as you already know snack bar requires context just like alert dialog so again i will have to provide icon i'm using icons dot waving hand and background color i'm using the same like app bar and label is say hi on press one more thing i will one more option i am adding you can copy paste and change the content like message and icon for this i am using background color yellow and label is add friend and for end action pane i am using again action pane and motion is same scroll motion you can change according to your requirement and slidable action again it is same and here i will change the message whenever i will tap on that particular option for removing removed and icon i will use 
icon dot not interested and the background color would be red and label not interested so i'm creating another class for providing the values like name and this subtitle and again this image uh, you can assume this as model class for now i'm getting the data from my assets so i'm creating model class and suppose if you will get your data from api then you will have to call api and get data into your model and then you can call data in your ui for showing purpose so person this name designation and image path and again inside list i will convert this list as person type and again i will add these three data it will ask for name designation and image this is my name and i'm adding here image this image is coming from assets maybe in your case it will come from api so you can change that accordingly now this slideable is asking for children because we haven't created any list design so i will add children container decoration box decoration and border all color would be gray for the borders and width would be 0.5 and the tiles color will be this now children i'm taking list tile and inside that i'm using text text persons i'm calling this persons list dot name okay and i'll set the design text style color would be same like app bar so what i will do i will just copy paste this and font weight font weight would be bold bold and one more thing font size i'm taking 18 let me run this and here is my list and as a subtitle Okay, so inside this, I will have to take subtitle. Okay, subtitle again, text, and inside text, I'll use persons index dot description. I think designation. Okay. So let me run this. Now this is the designation, and again, I'll have to add leading icon, and it will take a widget. So I will put image dot asset, and inside asset I'm using again person list dot. no dot actually index dot image url sorry image path and 
yes let me run this image has come now let me wrap this with widget and i will provide some border radius so clip or or rect let me align the code control alt and l you can align the code and for let me save this have to give border radius border radius dot circular let me give it to 30 now it is round and one more thing i will do i will provide padding to this list style then it will look good padding and not padding all i'm using only from top to bottom top 10 and bottom is also 10 now it is coming and our options are also coming so on press of this options this is on press of this not interested and these two on press is of this say hi and this add friend button so what i will do let's move towards this snack bar what i did here it will ask for context and title message so i'm passing this message inside here so scaffold messenger dot off context dot show snack bar and then i'm taking here snack bar widget and inside that this is content and here i'm putting my title message and duration is for five second and snack bar action inside i'm using undo whenever i will tap on this option here is undo button so on click of this undo button you can also perform several actions for now i'm printing this text so let me show you whenever there is undo button i am going to tap on this it is saying snack bar undo clicked and there are few more things you can perform like you can also provide corner radius to these options border radius border radius dot circular and 20 now you will see the border radius you can also give separate padding and you can also add flex to this i will also show you from left side uh, sorry from right side there is only one button so flex property is not visible clearly so from left side i will show you these are the two options i am going to add flex to this add friend button so when i will add flex to let's see what happens it will take the two times space so you can manage options like this and i will put the code on github and will share the link with you and hope you have enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful or even little bit helpful please make sure to like the video and subscribe for channel and hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now